I've been working on a 4-bit decoder in No Man's Sky, but I need some sort of display, so I built this 7-segment LED driver. If you decide to build a project like this, my advice is to use an area at least 50% larger than you think you'll need. The wiring can be hard to place with so many endpoints in one area, and as you can see I had to run some wiring on the back of the wall as well. There are no diodes in No Man's Sky, but there are transistors. In the game they're called auto switches. I use these to define the 10 segment groups. This setup is just to test the display functionality. Once I get the 4-bit decoder done, the outputs will connect to where these wall switches are now. This design uses 34 transistors, and there's definitely some room for optimization, but in the real world, these kind of drivers typically use about 60 to 70 transistors, and I show one in a schematic at the end so you can see. One thing I found is there's a long propagation delay if you're on the transistor serially. And you can see this when I light up the 8 and also the 4. Watch the upper right circuit for the delay. I also have videos of an SR latch and a NAND gate if you'd like to check those out sometime. I plan to make at least three more circuits in No Man's Sky, um, a binary counter, a memory cell, and a bitmap display. Eventually I'll post all my designs on GitHub in case others would like to experiment as well. Thank you for watching.